It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers. And I'm back with another video. Y'all know what's going on. In the last video, I told y'all about the submix. We about to jump right into it and talk about the output bus track and how you can use it. Let's get right into it. As you can see, I still have my um, I still have my submix track right here, right? But we're gonna go ahead, and come up here. We're gonna come right here. Insert output bus track. All right. Now you use your output bus track to control multiple signals at once, right? So it's like a master EQ or whatever you want to use it for. So instead of it being on your master channel, you can pick which instruments is being controlled. Your master track is just mostly everything. Your master track is it's everything. It's your master track. So your output track, the output bus track is going to be um it's going to be what you want it to be, right? So Let's say all of my instruments are from, I think, 1 to 10. So from 1 to 10, I'm going to go in here in my mixer. I'm going to change it to output bus, right? Output bus. And the way I would use it, especially for my instruments, right? Um, I already got like EQs on on the instruments that were too loud to me and I got them to the right volume and then um, hold up. What was this one? That's the track. Alright, um Yeah, I already got them I already got them how I would want them. So you can put any effect on here uh, that you want. So just a demonstration. Let's go to the beginning. If it lets me go back. Alright, now I'll put all of my instruments on this output. So if I put an EQ on here, right? And I hit play, you can hear I turn down the volume of all my instruments. All my instruments are being controlled where, where, where you wanna go by this output bus track. Maybe we can go. Where you wanna go? Baby, we can go. And that's a uh, that's how I would use it, just to control. Like, say you got a group of vocals that you want to turn down. Uh, they on different channels. You link them together, turn them down, whatever. Blah blah blah. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be an EQ. I mean, as you can see, you can really put any. Um, you can put any effect on it, you know what I mean? So maybe you want to run it through a I don't know a deesser on the way out, or I don't I don't know, you know. Um, it just depends on what you would want to do. Um, but yeah, man, that's how you use an output bus track. I know a lot of people see it from time to time inside of a mix craft. You hear people talk about it, and you have no clue how I use it in your mixer. In your mixer, after you create it, that's how you actually use it. I know a lot of people be trying to get to it from up here and stuff, and there's really not a way for you to get to up here. You got to go inside your mixer, and that's how you get the job done. All right? This is a really short one, but it's going to be super helpful if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. If you don't do anything else that I just said, make sure you subscribe. That's most important, bro. Subscribe, turn on that noty bell. You know what I mean? Join the notification gang. You know what I mean? Y'all know how it go, bro. Y'all ain't new to YouTube. Uh, but 
Anyway, we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep going strong. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy, King Buzz, and I'm out of here. Yeah.